So what we're going to look at now is a very basic lob shot. So I've got a 60 degree wedge here um, and we're going to look at changing the way we set up and lowering the lie angle of the club so we can utilise the grind in the heel of this lob wedge. Okay, so the grind is this area through the back here and that grind there um, helps determine what bounce there is on the, um, the club as well. Now, it is important that you get the right wedges fitted for you because different styles, different techniques will determine what sort of grind you should have and you know if you're if you're steeper into it or shallower and that you know getting the right grind will help you will help you achieve the shots that you want to um, try and play. So what we're going to do is look at a basic setup then I'm going to change my setup to try and loft the ball up in the air a bit more. So I'm going to just set up a square to this, this stick here that you can see. I'm aligning my feet up square to that. I'm going to have the club face square and I'm just going to feel like I can let the club go up and then drop down into the ball. Right, so you can see the starting direction of the ball and the elevation of the ball as well. So, what we're going to look at is something called face plane tilt. Okay, so face plane tilt is, if I lift the club up as if the ball was above my feet or lower it down, the, the actual direction the face points in changes. So, let me just stick a pencil on there, so hopefully you'll be able to see that. So, if I'm starting square, that's going to aim straight. If I start going up, you see it starts pointing to the left, and if I go down, you can see it starts pointing to the right. So, if I was to open up my face like I would do to try and loft the shot, the pencil is pointing to the right. But now if I lower my hand, you can see, I'll do that again, if I lower my hand, you can see that it starts to point more in a straight direction. So, simply, even with a square setup, my club face is pointing to the right. When I push my hands down, that face plane tilt square to face up, I can have the same action and I can loft the ball up in the air a lot more. So what we can do is we can adapt our setup slightly. So as I say, square club face, open it up, lower the hands, same motion. Just by adapting the setup in, by lowering my hands, I can adjust that face plane tilt and I can square the face up even though it looks like it's pointing right and by not changing my motion I can loft the ball up in the air more. So um, what we'll do next week is we'll look into a bit more technique into the motion of swinging our arms to try and loft the ball up in the air a bit more. Um, but just as a basic rule of thumb that's quite a good way to increase loft without really changing your action too much, just your setup. Okay, have a good weekend, give that a go, try not to break any windows.